Hi folks, John Mark here with Catalyst Connect. Uh, this is going to be the next video in our series where we're going to be running through typical use cases in Zoho One. Um, this is going to follow a best practice implementation of some of the most popular apps uh, within the Zoho One suite. So here again, we are at the home dashboard for uh, Zoho One. Now, as you can see, uh, using their WYSIWYG editor, I was able to create this dashboard where I wanted to just get a quick glimpse as to, as to what's going on across the uh, Zoho product suite. So we can see here, we have a little widget that's showing our recent website visitors. And that's where we're gonna begin, is so Zoho Sales IQ. So if I hover over the left-hand side here and dive into Sales IQ, this is Zoho's online visitor tracker and uh, chat app. Uh, it's a really great way to uh, get a real-time view of who's on the website. We can proactively chat with them. Uh, we can take it uh, steps further in more advanced configurations to integrate uh, chatbots, lead scoring, uh, integrate knowledge base articles, uh, etc. For a best practice baseline setup, what we typically do is we will uh, set up uh, Zoho Sales IQ on your website. Uh, we'll enable the uh, website uh, visitor tracker. So if I head on over to one of our demo sites here, uh, we can see that on the bottom right hand side, we have the sales IQ chat widget activated. It says we're online. And if I uh, were to click on this as a user, I can go ahead and uh, enter in my info to begin a chat. Now, as you can see, it's actually picked up from my IP address that uh, this example, Steve Becker here, has already uh, filled out this chat before. So it's going to actually remember that visitor. If I go over here to Sales IQ, we can see that it's actually given me a notification here that Steve has been on the site now for 35 seconds. And it's actually going to pull up his visitor history. So this is a, a great way to see uh, what pages or uh, products, services Steve may be interested in. Uh, you can also pull up some details based on their geographic location. This is pulling from the IP address, and uh, we can see some basic information about the machine that he's using. Now, uh, as I mentioned, you have some more advanced configurations where you can actually uh, allocate uh, scoring rules to certain actions. So perhaps if Steve is hovering over the home page and not really navigating anywhere, he's going to get a pretty low score. Uh, maybe if he uh, goes and drills down into pricing, that's going to be a pretty strong indicator that he's a strong prospect. So you can actually weight certain actions within the uh, website to uh, uh, give higher scores to certain actions or lengths of time, returning visits, etc. And then this lead score can actually be pushed through to the CRM to help your marketing department better qualify or your sales reps, better understand what products or services this customer is interested in. So here we can see that I have the option to start a proactive chat directly with Steve, uh, or we can wait for him to chat us. And in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, hey, Steve. Now, uh, you may not wanna creep him out knowing that uh, <laughs> you know who he is, but that's always a good conversation starter. So. Uh, within the uh, chat widget here, uh, we actually have options to uh, transfer this chat to colleagues. So if you have other colleagues logged into Sales IQ, you can uh, transfer the chat. Uh, you can have uh, canned uh, responses available. So if you have frequent uh, messages that you want to be able to just drop in, you can choose from those over here. And then you can actually leverage a full knowledge base as well if you want to send out full articles uh, to that visitor. Another uh, neat feature that uh, you have is the ability to flip this chat into a screen share or a voice conversation. This can be a great way uh, to just streamline your interactions with those online visitors. Uh, going back to the front end here, we can see that uh, uh, Steve got the chat. How's it going? And uh, you can see here that I got a notification that he's replied to me. So then I can now go ahead and fully engage with that uh, visitor. Uh, once you've started that chat, this is the icon where you can then share articles and uh, FAQs. 
you can send voice messages through here as well. So it can really be an efficient platform to interact with those folks. And then as I mentioned here, you have the ability to launch into a screen share uh, or flip this into a voice call. So that's the basics of our chat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this chat here. We can either end it after some time or immediately. And I wanted to point out that over here on the visitors tab, we can uh, see a little bit of information about our various visitors. So here's some of the uh, recent folks. Uh, we can see some information about them, uh, prior conversations that we've had, any call history, perhaps some open activities that we've had from them as well. So again, great engagement tool on the front end to track those visitors, uh, engage with them, and then as part of our best practice setups, we're going to integrate this with the CRM so that it will push these new folks as leads into the CRM where we can then go ahead and qualify, convert them and start them into the sales cycle. So that's where we'll head on the next video and look forward to seeing you there. Thanks a lot. Cheers.